Idaho. Tonight we continue our series of interviews called Resolution Resolve. It's our way to help you be successful in any new goals you might have this year. Last night we talked about weight loss. Joining me now to talk about just feeling better about life in the new year is Veronica Harper. She's a licensed counselor, professional counselor at uh, Center Counseling in Chubbuck. Now, Veronica, it's been a tough couple of years, particularly economically for a lot of people, and I think that stress can just bear down on people. What can people do in the new year to feel better and maybe relieve some of that stress? I think one of the most important things for people to do when they're feeling stress or anxiety is to really focus on the positives. Um, it doesn't necessarily change the circumstances, but as we focus on what's positive and realistic, it increases our ability to cope with all the negative that's going on around us. And then it's easier for us to solve problems and to deal with that, you know, like financial, financial stuff that's going on or you know, stress with other issues. And I, it seems like in the counseling world they talk a lot about coping skills. What are those and how do you even develop coping skills? I think coping skills are, you know, different things like t relaxation mm -hmm. and um, changing our thinking patterns, um, focusing on what's real and true because sometimes our brains tend to blow things out of proportion, especially when we're feeling um, intense emotions. Um, relaxation, physical exercise, all of those are different coping skills that we, we do use and we should use every day. Let's talk a little bit about depression. Things can get people now down. How do you know if you need to seek professional help or even maybe even medication mm -hmm. uh, if, you're, if you're dealing with depression or thoughts of depression? Yeah, I think medication, it's different for everyone. I think mm -hmm. some people tend to want to try medication before they try counseling, which is fine. Um, a lot of times when our depression is impairing our functioning, it's really difficult to go to work or school, it might be okay to seek medication, seek help for medication, or you know, if you want to try something different, try counseling first. Good. Let's talk about relationships then. I think a lot of people might want to better their relationships maybe with a spouse or a significant other or parents or children. So what are some of the stresses put on relationships and, and what's a good way to kind of resolve those, kind of get them out in the open? Well, there's different things that cause stress on relationships. Um, could be change in jobs, school. You know, with kids, it could be, you know, they're getting bullied at school and they're taking it out on their friends. And ways to deal with that, especially for parents with their children, is to really listen and to validate, you know, and to help them to understand how the, what their emotions are and how they're feeling. And as, for, as far as, like, spouses, mm -hmm. I think it's really important for them to spend time together and to communicate and to really have appropriate expectations for each other and to, at times, communicate what those expectations are. What about for parents who want to make sure that they try to connect with their kids a little bit better in the coming year? Validation is really important. For parents to be able to recognize how their kids are feeling and to validate that. For example, if they're acting out in anger, understanding that that's not the issue, it's what's going on that's creating the anger. And anger isn't a real emotion, it's you know covering up something other, like fear. And so for parents to be aware that if they're acting angry, they're probably feeling you know, scared or hurt right. about something and for them to validate that and to help them work through that. Okay, well good. Well, a lot of good, uh, a lot of good advice for us, for people out there heading into the new year. I appreciate you being here. Thanks, Veronica. Thank you. All right, we'll have more on this uh, coming up for tomorrow.